Hi everyone, myself Harsha. You are watching Harsha Trainings. So this video is about so Pega Rules Process Commanders. One of the main topic called as Rule Delegation. See, in the real world business applications, there are some rules like correspondences, SLAs, and decision tables. These rules, the data, the the definitions might have to be modified by the business very frequently. See, any time when a rule is being modified. So that has to be done in the development environment and thereafter it has been taken into the production environment. So for that we need to do the build and deployment process. So in the enterprise application development build and deployment process may take typically 24 to 48 hours. Usually this will be done during non working uh, uh, non business hours. So it is very difficult for a business to do the production deployment. So very frequently that may be like once in two days they wanted to modify a rule data like a correspondence content they wanted to modify or decision table content they wanted to modify or a data type content they wanted to modify very frequently two times in a week. So then it will be highly difficult for a business to modify this data. So what is the solution for this? So the solution for this is going to be we have to provide an access to the business to open these rules from, the, uh, from their portals directly in the production environment. And when they open directly in the production environment, we need to make sure that they, they, they should be given knowledge about check in and check out process. And then when they open, they should be able to directly update this rules data in the production environment itself. So for this purpose, there is a concept that has been introduced by Pega called as rule delegation. So this rule delegation we can do by using PRPC by going through the option of delegate a rule in the rule form under action drop down. So just let's get on to the system in order to see how to delegate a rule to a specific access group of people guys if you like our videos and the content so uh, please don't forget to subscribe our channel like the video and post your questions uh, in the comment section below and if you are attending any interviews and if you find any complex scenario based questions and all don't feel hesitate to post the questions below in the comment section we are always uh, like happy to help you to uh, give you the or to deliver you the best knowledge so let's get on to the laptop to see the current video so what is meant by rule delegation why we need rule delegation just let me explain you what is the need of a rule delegation for example let us take a decision table let us take a decision table so business has given us a requirement as per the requirement, we created a decision table. Business is saying that the values here will be regularly changing. Will be regularly changing. This decision table is a rule instance or data instance? Rule instance. See, if this data is regularly changing, can business update this data in the live environment? Is it possible? Business cannot update this data in the live environment. I'll tell you the reason why. The reason is whenever we move this rule set from development to next level, QA or production, anything, rule set versions, all the versions will be locked. After you lock a rule set version, is it possible to modify the rule in the same version? Is it possible to delete the rule? It is possible to create a rule in that version? Nothing is possible. So business cannot make any changes. Instead what should happen? Business should come to developers and ask them to modify it. When developer modifies the rule, after developer modifies, developer will modify the rule in which environment? Development environment only. Developer will modify the rule in development environment, right? Then how come? The business users will modify. They cannot modify. They have to come to developer. Developer will modify and give you. You have to move it to QA, QA to UA to UA to testing production. It will take some time. Every time business cannot come back to developer requesting for this information. In that case, what will happen is this rule will get delegated. What will happen? It, this rule will get delegated. I am giving a name to the name of the access group. I am going to delegate it to manager access group where delegated rule name is this is test right okay my decision table like this I have given 
delegate it. The moment you delegate it, check out and then save it in back. Delegate. After you delegate it, Okay, now you go to system user my rules, system user my rules. Pardon me. So the, for the instance of this class are delegated rules. You delegated it, right? Just stop. Emanition name delegated is up to work tab. What is the name I have given? Hanover manager set. This one. Okay, now when manager log into PRBC, manager, when he log into PRBC, he will see one additional tab called configuration tab. April 11th, just now it is delegated, right? For manager, okay, manager when he log in. Not as a developer. For a developer, if I open manager portal, it is not showing any tab. So I log into VRPC as a manager, business user. Hano. Enter the ID MNGR one na. See, he is getting a configuration tab. It is not visible by default. Only at least one delegated rule is there, then it will be visible. Configuration tab is this the rule which we have delegated? Here is the edit icon. You can edit. I will not be able to edit it because rule set versions will be locked. Correct? Even though you delegate, see, delegation helps the business to access the rules to modify without logging into Designer Studio. Without accessing Designer Studio, business people can access the rules from their portal itself. But the problem is, it is not able to be modified. For this, what we need to do is usually. Whenever the rules are being moved to other environment, it will be locked, versions will get locked. But we need to create in unlocked rule set versions. Lock, not locking rule set version is not correct. For this reason, I mean like application rule sets all should be locked before you move. For this reason, Pega comes up with a new rule set concept that is called um, production rule set. What is the rule set? Production rule set. You create a rule set by name ABC. So any rules which you want to delegate, usually we use, we delegate them into, we create them into production rule set. Production rule set, rule set versions will be not locked by developers. At least. So in the live server, all the rule sets will be locked except the production rule sets. Why production rule sets are unlocked? Because the rules in production rule set should be available for modifying and saving back and checking back. Check in checkout will be there, but you are going to disable only one thing called rule set version locking. You are not going to do. As a result, the rule set you are going to to use for delegated rules is production rule set and these production rule sets rules will show up in the configuration tab as delegated rules business will be able to modify save and then check in back they can do that 
so while you are preparing the patch file for all your code to move from one environment to another environment you will be using some unlocked rules and versions related to pega rules yeah production rules okay so that i will show you so this video about delegating a rule is available in our youtube channel you can watch it